symptoms. And I'll, I'll just quickly go through this list, um, hitting the highlights. These, these are the percentages that you find these uh, symptoms with clinical hypothyroidism. Fatigue and weakness is arguably the most common, uh, no question about it, really. Uh, lethargy, cold intolerance or cold body temperature, weight gain or trouble losing weight, uh, edema, especially lower extremities uh, and hands, joint aches or arthralgias. We see a lot of uh, neuropsychiatric symptoms. Uh, people will complain of slow speech or they, they, brain fog, forgetfulness, diminished libido, uh, headaches, especially the headache with thyroid classically is more in the morning. At the same time, their fatigue tends to be also worse in the morning. Just a note on that too, the fatigue with thyroid tends to be trouble getting going in the morning or as long as you're up doing something it's not too bad but boy at 10 o'clock you sit down on the couch and you're just wiped out you could take a nap right then and there it's a little bit different than the fatigue like we'll see with low testosterone and other hormone disorders that tends to be more of an energy or a stamina if you just don't have the strength to finish the chore so it's a little subtlety there on the fatigue uh, and like the fatigue the headache tends to be in the morning hoarseness or a weak voice uh, slow thinking Gastrointestinal complaints are, are fairly common. I think I see that more when it's a little more serious uh, case of low thyroid constipation. Remember, st thyroid stimulates the body in general. Uh, the gut is a big part of uh, thyroid function. Dermatologic or skin disorders, dry skin, uh, decreased sweating, the hair loss, especially the outer third of the eyebrow, broken, broken nails, brittle nails. And then gynecologic, the thyroid has a lot to do with uh, helping, uh, it's necessary for women to have thyroid in order to ovulate, the ovary needs thyroid to ovulate. Thyroid also stimulates the uterus uh, to thicken, and so you'll see women that miss periods or have irregular periods as a result of low thyroid. And then some of the signs, this is, the symptoms are what people complain of. The signs are what we sometimes try and look just, for uh, just about literally tell from speaking with someone that they could be low on their thyroid. Uh, I see patients who come to see me who, who think they're low on their thyroid and they, they sit up and they talk real fast and they're real bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and it's less likely that they're really low on their thyroid with that kind of affect. Uh, not always the case, but that's a pretty true generalization. Hypokinesia is slow movement, generalized muscle weakness, uh, delayed relaxation of a reflex. So when you check someone's reflex, it goes out and comes back. With low thyroid, it tends to go out and be slow coming back. Um, dermatologic signs, the cold, dry, thick, scaling, thin, um, cold extremities in particular, um, affects the palms and the soles, elbows and knees, the scaling, and you may see a yellow-orange discoloration. That has to do with uh, accumulation of uh, beta carotene, the conversion to vitamin A you need thyroid and so you can get a secondary buildup of it in the skin. Hair is a big one, uh, seems like particularly in women, um, dry, coarse, brittle hair. If, if women are noticing hair coming out in the shower, uh, coming out in their brush, that's quite often associated with low thyroid. Fingernail changes where you get ridges that run longitudinally and again the eyebrow thinning. Cardiovascular